What's going on guys? Here I am again making another review and this time I'm very stoked because I finally got my brand new Gong Litho wing foil board. Now, uh, I'm gonna tell you why I have both boards side by side to explain something to you. But before I get to that, I'm not trying to kiss anybody's ass guys, but uh, you know how expensive the sport wing foil can be and the gear, how expensive it is. And the cool thing about Gong is that they're half of the price especially if you go for a brand like Armstrong. I love Armstrong and other brands out there, but that's top quality and this is top quality too. But the difference is that you buy straight from them. So it's half of the price in some of, some of the things. So they make very good products at a very good price. Uh, and the only thing is that they're in France. Now, if you don't know about Gong, go, go on the website and check it out. The diversity of boards that they have is far to none. They have at least different five or four, five I think, different foil boards and each one has a different size. So you're always gonna find the perfect size for you for what you wanna do. And that goes also for their wings. They have four or five different wings that you can choose whatever you want. So you can fine tune and customize your riding to your gear. Some brands out, out there only have two or three boards and that's it. And they have this for instance, they have five different boards on the lethal uh, 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 name itself, uh, by itself. Now I'm super stoked because actually, uh, Patrice, uh, merci, uh, mon ami, you guys are great because he actually signed my board personally. I'm very stoked about that, and that's him signing right there my board. Thank you, merci beaucoup, uh, Patrice. And Patrice is a pretty cool guy because he's the one who rides it and designs as well. Now, I'm not gonna get into the shape that much because there is a whole uh, uh, video of Patrice speaking French and explaining. Uh, how this design works well and I I liked it what the idea he has to say but anyhow now I'm gonna tell you why I'm showing boards side by side so the reason why I'm showing boards side by side so you can have an idea why I chose this so I'm 5'11 at 195 pounds without the gear so if I put a wetsuit on I'm easily 200 pounds now I start with this this is a 5'10 uh, 5'11 I'm sorry 5'11 uh, I'm strong and uh, it's uh, 99 liters. It has one single concave and it flattens out. And as you can see, it has a flat tail and then you get the flat tail and that's it. Now, it has a nice concave on the side as well. But here's the deal. When I started, I was supposed to actually get the bigger board and I didn't want to because I knew it was going to progress right away. So my problem was to find a board that wasn't a sinker. I did not want to get into a sinker because I'm not great uh, 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 winging for it yet. So I need to find a board that wasn't too far away from uh, uh, 99 liters. And that was much smaller because 511 for me, as you know, gives a big sway, uh, sway uh, when you're up on the foil. So I didn't want to uh, have a smaller board. And everything that looked out there was 60 and I want to get below five feet. And every single board that I search over there, all of them was 60 liters and below. So this is 511 and 99 liters. This little baby over here is 410 and 80 liters. And that's the reason why I wanted this because I'm heavy. I don't want to get into sinking, uh, sink and start. And I want something that was going to hold myself in the water. Granted, I haven't put in the water yet, but I knew the literage, the liter, the volume that I want was going to be at least between 80, 85. And this is it. This is the only board out there that you're going to find below five feet, and that's your 410 at 80 liters. And as you can see, it's pretty thick. Now, double concave. I'm not going to get into much details, but it's double concave. Concave to the side in rail. And one thing very interesting is the end of it, the tail of it. It's not flat like the Armstrong, it's actually rounded. And as I said, I'm not gonna get much details, but uh, Patrice explained the concept behind of that round tail, uh, besides the, uh, uh, except for the fact that it's being slashed. So it's basically a round tail, and there is also a slightly concave on the back. So according to the, to uh, uh, Patrice's, you're gonna get up on the foil uh, win less uh, than uh, about two knots less than usual. Hey, I'll take it. 
But anyhow, that's why I said I'm gonna put in practice, right? I'm gonna put in practice today. But just for the fact that I'm at 410 and 80 liters, that right there for me is a big uh, uh, win. So I'm just put side by side, and you can see the volume sideways. I can see the top. And you can finally see the bottom. But it's hard to believe that. Look the size of this thing. 99 liters. And this little thing over here, 80 liters. And that's why I chose this board. Granted, right I haven't put it on the board yet. I'm gonna put it in the water and find out how it is. But anyhow, it also comes with um, two straps for the front. One strap on the back as well, which I'm not gonna uh, put on right now. And this thing, this board, I think shipped to me shipped to me was one thousand fifty dollars one thousand fifty dollars this one i bought was twenty one twenty five twenty one twenty five one thousand fifty make the math all right so let me get this in the water and uh i'll tell you how it feels in the water once again merci mon ami from uh, gong all crew from gong let me get this in the water guys